In this era of so many phone editing apps, filters, Snapchat filters, all kinds of skin smoothing tools, I feel like people have a wrong notion or a wrong idea of what adult skin is supposed to look like, okay? A lot of people think that adult skin is supposed to look like what you guys are seeing on camera now. It's supposed to be smooth. It's supposed to be, you know, poreless, you know. I'm sure many of you cannot even see my pores from there, even though I have large pores. Like, I have large pores, but I'm sure a lot of you cannot see those pores. But yeah, we just want us to be like, you know, walking filters. Yeah, so before I continue, I just want to let you guys know that adult skin is not the same thing as baby skin, okay? Adult skin is not what? It's not the same thing as baby skin. It is okay for adult skin to have some blemishes, to have, you know, some pores rather than others, to have, you know, oily or dryness, you know, to be oily or to be dry, or has most likely gone through more sun damage than a baby skin or a small child's skin. You know, as women, we have so many things that affect our skin, hormones, drugs, medication, um, uh, even birth control, okay? So many things actually are fighting to destroy our skin <laughs> so cut yourself some slack okay give yourself some credit i feel like sometimes when people say oh i don't have good skin they they don't when you see their skin you're like no what's the problem okay and again there are also some things that are more common to your skin type okay so like if you have oily skin there are some things that you are more likely to suffer from if you have dry skin there are things that you are more likely to suffer from that someone who has oily skin is not going to experience okay and also as a woman like i mentioned earlier and also your ethnicity okay your race has a past to play your lifestyle your diet your you know walk where you walk okay so for instance let's say you walk under the sun Let's say you work in the field or you work in, you know, you're a farmer or something, you work under the sun, okay? I don't know the amount of sunscreen you're going to rub, but except you're applying sunscreen every one hour or two hours, you are still going to experience some sun damage, okay? So considering all these factors, if you have a skin that looks like mine, you have good skin, my dear sister, okay? In fact, everybody has good skin. I always say this. It just depends on what products you use, right? And also, it is not about your color, okay? It is not about being fair or being dark or, oh, this sun is making me dark. Oh, this thing is making me dark like Nigerians always, you know, claim. <laughs> Especially Africans. I don't know why we're so obsessed with, you know, skin lightening. That's a topic for another day anyway. Yeah, it's not about light skin or dark skin. If you have good skin, you have good skin, okay? For me, I'm more particular about evilness. But even at that, as a black woman, I think I'm going into too much talk share. but even at that as a black woman you are more likely going to experience hyperpigmentation than a light skin or an oibo or a mixed race person okay or a white woman if you don't know what oibo means you are more likely going to experience hyperpigmentation than they would they are more they are more likely to experience wrinkling than we would okay generally speaking so just take your win and work with it okay take your loss and deal with it take your win and work with it that's just it okay so for me i have things that i actually forgive in my skin like for instance my children who are still babies they have hyperpigmentation and these are babies from the womb some of them someone like sophia came was born with black neck <laughs> from the womb like so we like and start rubbing cream for her to say oh i want your skin to be even please you know just forgive some skin some things anyway if i talk too much let me show you guys what i use on my skin to make it look this way i purposely wore what i want to do so you guys will be seeing the skin as i'm describing everything i use okay <laughs> but yeah before i tell you guys the products i use let me tell you the kind of skin that i have okay so i actually have oily skin i think i'm more combination than oily i used to be totally oily before but i think as you know as i started growing older i started having more combination skin so i'm more oily in my t-zone while you know my the perimeter of my face is dry not too dry okay so that's why i always say i have oily skin because it's not too dry it's not like i have dry skin anywhere on my face i don't really i used to have dry skin on my forehead at some point but anyway but yeah so i have um combination to oily skin if i'll describe it as that i have large pores i have acne prone skin i have um, hyperpigmentation prone skin um yeah so large pores hyperpigmentation and acne those are my major um skin issues that i try to deal with okay so yeah let me start by what i use to wash my skin okay so for my body i use this dr teal's body wash with pure Ep epsom salt okay so this is the glow and radiance with vitamin c and citrus essential oils so i use this dr teal's 
body wash. I've used different types in the past, but right now I think I like this one best because of the smell though, nothing else. There was one I used before, I didn't like the smell at all. I think it was eucalyptus or something. I didn't like the smell. It's something I just managed to finish. Like I just tried my best to finish it, you know? So yeah, but I really like it. I feel like it cleans my body really well um, because of the Epsom salts. It, it feels really good on the skin. So for my face, I use this Claire by Paula's Choice. It is a pore normalizing cleanser and it is blemish, it is for blemish prone skin, okay? Um, helps to dissolve pore clogging oils, makeup impurities, foaming gel, rinses, rinses clean without drying skin. I totally, totally attest to that, okay? I use it to wash my face and it doesn't dry my face out, but it cleans my face properly. Like sometimes I double clean, like in the night, sometimes so I might clean my face twice. Like I'll just put some on my face, wash it off and then put another one and wash it off, okay? But most times what I do is I go to the sink, before I have my bath, I go to the sink, I take some, I rub it all over my face, I massage it into my face very well. And then when I enter into the bathroom, I wash my body, after washing my body, okay now, <laughs> I wash my body. After washing my body, I then rinse off the this thing on my face. Okay. The reason why I leave it on my face for a while is just because it contains salicylic acid. So I want the salicylic acid to actually like work very well. Okay. Yeah, that's the active ingredient. So if you have acne prone skin, if you have oily skin, salicylic acid is one of your, you know, friends. Okay. Make friends with it. Marry it. Okay. Salicylic acid works really well for me. Yeah, it really works well for me. And especially if you don't have sensitive skin, I don't really have sensitive skin. So this Polar's Choice works really well for me. There are other active ingredients you can consider though. Like if you have oily skin, you can consider ingredients that have benzoyl peroxide. Yeah. Benzoyl peroxide. Um, there's another one, lactic acid. No. Not lactic acid. Lactic acid is for exfoliating. Yeah, you can use a lactic acid wash, okay, for because salicylic acid actually helps exfoli ex to exfoliate your skin. So I don't exfoliate my face with anything else, okay? My body, sometimes I use a body scrub. I have a Dr. Teal's body scrub. I don't think I brought it here. I use the Dr. Teal's body scrub for my body once in a while. I, to be honest, once in three months or something. I hardly remember it. I'm always in a hurry in the bathroom, okay? Um, yeah, so for... So, but for my face, I don't use any kind of scrub or exfoliator or whatever. I just use my salicylic acid daily, morning and night sometimes, okay? Um, yeah, but you can try lactic acid, glycolic acid, and, um, you know, benzoyl peroxide. Those are acne fighting, uh, skin, reju skin rejuvenating, uh, as in they help with your skin turnover, okay? Anyway, I'm not the... I'm not a skincare expert though. I just like to listen to people that, you know, are into skincare. That's how I learned all these things. It's not like I'm, I didn't learn it anywhere, okay? So for my body, these are my holy grail, okay? I feel like going to buy cartons of this, okay? So that I don't run out of them or I don't start looking for them in the market. For my body, I use both a lotion and an oil, okay? I use this oil after applying the lotion. Now, this lotion is the Ambi Soft and Even Cream Oil Lotion. To be honest there, they say it relieves dry skin instantly and naturally locks in moisture for 24 hours, okay? So, the skin on my body is not, is, is just normal. I don't really have dry skin. On my feet though, I have dry skin on my feet and, you know, half of my feet, half of my leg down, I have dry skin. Like, if I don't moisturize or, you know, um, oil my legs, they tend to get flaky. Like, it gets, it can get that bad, okay? But I've not gotten it in a very, very long time. Um, yeah, so... I always make sure I use this cream first and then I use this oil. This oil is the Shea Moisture Daily Hydration Body Oil. It is virgin coconut oil. It is with coconut milk and Acacia, Acacai or Acacia Senegal or Acacia Senegal. Um, this one contains olive oil and shea butter. So this one softens and restores skin, okay? Oh, I was using olive oil at some point. Anyway, so I now bought this Shea Moisture Oil. When I got back home and I used it, I didn't like the smell. I don't know why. Me, I'm very sensitive to smells, right? So I try to go for products that don't have very strong smell. Like the milder the scent, the better for me. In fact, if it doesn't have scent, I'm even I'm, I'm happier. Okay, I would rather apply body spray and perfume than use products that come with smells because they irritate me. Anyway, so I hated the smell again, but. I don't buy them, I don't buy them now. So I decided to just try and finish it and then sort of look, go back to the one that I was using before or just go back to using the children's um, body butter. 
But my dear brothers and sisters, okay, as I started using it, I started seeing a huge improvement. After using this thing for a while, I, I, I'll look at my skin. My skin is still glowing. Like in the evening, my skin is still glowing. I was like, eh? So that was how I now finished using it to, I now started looking for it again. I did not see it. And I said, which kind of wahala is this? Why can't I just use a product and see it in the market? Each time I go back, I will not see what I love. So I looked for this product. I still went back to another cream. Then the day I found it, I think I bought two. And since then I have been using it. Okay. So this shea body oil, I actually, actually highly recommend it. If you have, um, if you want, to, if you're looking for an oil to use, okay, it is lightweight. It is not heavy. It's lightweight. It has a strong scent, though. I have to alert you about that. It has a strong scent, but it is really, really lightweight. Of course, this cream is actually quite heavy. So, for me to pair this to just know that it is not that bad. And mind you, this is coming from someone who doesn't like to rub cream because I sweat a lot. Okay. After washing my face, I go in for my morning routine. I go in with this timeless skincare vitamin c serum so you can use any vitamin c serum that works for you but i personally love this timeless skincare vitamin c serum i love the um, feel and i also love the applicator the bottle okay it just comes with a pump um i love skincare products that come with pumps i don't really like the droppers and or doesn't have anything i don't like them there are some that don't come with pumps but you can just press the head i'll show you one you press the head and it will come out i can manage that but ideally i love the ones that comes with pump that's why i usually buy this one for the size and you know the, for the size and the price i think it's quite okay okay it's not cheap it's not a cheap vitamin C, but it's not an expensive one either. So after applying the vitamin C serum, in the mornings, I use hyaluronic acid, okay? So this is what I mean about the one that you just press it. And you guys cannot see this, but I'll show you guys. This one, you just press it and you now, you know, pour it out. Um, this hyaluronic acid is a must for me because one, I have oily skin. So I need enough moisture to combat the oiliness, okay? Yeah, there's a science behind it. I can't start explaining it to you guys right now. Mind you, today I did not use any of these products. I only used sunscreen because I was rushing out in the morning. I just came back home. I actually rushed out in the morning. So I didn't use any of these my products. I just used sunscreen in the morning. So yeah. Personally, I prefer Garden of Wisdom products because they come with a pump. Hyaluronic acid is hyaluronic acid, okay? That's why I just went for it. But ideally, I would have preferred to buy the Garden of Wisdom one because it comes with a pump. After that, I then go in with this Elf Skin Holy Hydration face cream okay if you really look at all my products you will see that most of them are either hydrating or moisturizing or you know i love moisturizing Moist moisture is very important okay drink water and mind your business okay but drinking water is not even enough for your skin to be moisturized okay you need to actually add the moisture you know physically on top of your skin right um that's the good thing about using hyaluronic acid hyaluronic acid actually absorb traps in moisture okay this is the face cream i use it is with hyaluronic acid and peptides i think peptides are also moisturizing agents or hydration agents or whatever however i still sometimes use alpha abutin in the morning instead of using the hyaluronic acid so i just switch and depending on my mood i just switch either i use alpha habit alpha abutin this is also from the inky list either i use this before my um moisturizer or I use hyaluronic acid, okay? So alpha abutin basically just helps to fade dark spots, help with, helps with hyperpigmentation, um, but I just use it because they say it helps to fade dark spots, okay? If you ask me if it's really working, I don't know. I don't, I don't use it that often, but yeah, I try to whenever I remember it. Then the next one, which is very, 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 very important, it is sunscreen. Um, this one is still new. Let me open this for you guys. This one is still new. This is the sunscreen I use. I use the Skin Aqua UV Moisture Gel. Um, there's a white one and there's a gold one. I use both. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't think it's a difference in both. I use any one that I find. Um, I think this is a, li a little more um, lightweight than the um, gold one. I think this one is a little runnier than the gold one. But they are super moisture gel. Again, moisture is very important to me. Um, this is 50 SPF. Ideally, you are supposed to reapply sunscreen every two hours, but that is for people that have the energy and the time and the mental uh, uh, awareness to be checking time. So I'll be applying sunscreen. That what happened? <laughs> so I don't do that, okay? Once I apply it in the morning, that's the end. I said I have my bath in the afternoon again. Uh -huh. But once I apply it in the morning after having my bath, that is the end. I don't do reapply shit. Now to the real mvps in my skincare routine the real game changers the real products that 
you are going to thank me for after using them. You are, you, I'm sure you are going to thank me for them. These are Rejuva and Retinol, okay? Now, this Rejuva is Tac Rejuva Formula. It is a... I don't know what to call this. This is just like a... A cocktail. It's a cocktail. <laughs> Even though they didn't write it here. This is a cocktail of you know, goodies, skincare goodies, okay? Um, yeah, all these, um, what they call the name? Serums, yeah. So it's like a mixture of different serums. It's quite heavy. That's one thing I need to tell you guys. It's quite heavy. Don't go and press this thing out the way you used to press your, or, your, or the way they used to use your sunscreen or your moisturizer. If you do that, your face is going to be hot. <laughs> it is quite heavy. So you use just a little bit of this and apply it all over your face at night. I only use it at night because, it, yeah, I only use it at night because of how heavyweight it is. And, you know, there's really no point applying it twice a day. Um, but if you're going to apply it twice a day, always make sure you use a sunscreen. But me, I just use it once. Um, so it contains retinoic acid. It contains niacinamide. It contains... L ascorbic acid, which is basically vitamin C, it contains tranexamic acid, which also helps with um, blemishes and um, what the name spots and stuff like that, pigmentation. Then also contains hyaluronic acid and a proprietary blend of depigment depigmenting agents. Okay, yeah, so this works well for hyperpigmentation, spots, scars, and stuff like that. Um, again, like I said, it's quite heavy, so always make sure you just use just like a pea size amount and apply it all over your face and your neck. Always remember your neck in skincare, okay? So, right now, for me, my face wash I use my face wash from here to here, okay? Even though I still use my body wash sometimes to wash it off, but when I apply my face wash, I apply it from here to here. Uh, when I'm applying my vitamin C, every, anything I apply on my face, I apply from here to here. Then, anything I apply on my skin, I apply from everywhere on top of it on top of yes on top of it i shall apply the oil you know today i didn't even rub cream i didn't rub cream on my body today. like again, again like i said i rushed out in the morning and i just want to film this video today now you can also use alpha abutin with this okay so you can put alpha abutin serum first that's why i actually bought it in the first place i put the alpha abutin serum first and then i go in with my rejuva next um yeah but most times i forget about the alpha abutin and just do this straight because i'm lazy like that okay and then the secrets this you see this thing i'm holding here this thing is actually quite affordable yes i can't remember how much i bought it but it's quite affordable because i've used the tire it has refused to finish like it's a lot in fact i feel like i'm going to throw it away and buy a new one because i've used the tire like doesn't, don't, i'm not supposed to finish a, a, a bottle in a certain amount of time like so this is retinol this is tre tretinoin cream 0.05 percent um if you have acne prone skin or you have oily skin or you know you're trying to fade dark spots or fade whatever whatever use this okay now the disclaimer for this is that this is retinol basically okay the disclaimer for this is that you can't use this if you are pregnant you're trying to get pregnant or you're breastfeeding okay you can't use this also the rejuva because the rejuva also contains um retinol Yes, it also contains 0.05 retinoic acid, okay? So, if you are pregnant, you are trying to get pregnant, you are breastfeeding, just stay away from these products, okay? Because I think it's your, your bloodstream absorbs them, and I think there's no research on its effect on babies, okay? Whether in the womb or, you know, babies that are breastfeeding. I don't think there's adequate research on the effect of retinol on the babies. I think there is... I'm not sure, but I mean, because I'm sure why I'm saying I'm not sure is that I don't think they'll go and intentionally start testing this thing on pregnant women. Like, why? What the heck? <laughs> you know? So that's why I said I'm not sure. But because we are not sure and because of how potent these things are, they advise you to stay away from them if you are trying to get pregnant, if you are pregnant, or if you are breastfeeding. Okay. So that's why I didn't use them for the longest time. Like, I didn't even bother because I knew that I was either pregnant or trying to get pregnant. Oh, I bought this one after I had. Eva, I started using after I had Eva, then I found out I was pregnant and I now stopped using it. Okay, how I use them is sometimes I apply this all over my face, no, not all over my face, I apply this all over my cheeks and my nose and my just my T zone, not really my forehead because at some point I had really dry forehead and this product is quite drying. Okay, so anytime you apply it, make sure you apply. Okay, how I apply it is this I apply my moisturizer, especially in the evening, in the night, my night routine, I apply my moisturizer all over my face and then I apply this on my um, t-zone my cheeks 
like my nose and my chin but for my forehead i avoided it for the longest time because i started having really dry forehead i think that thing was hormonal because it's gone now but you know it's now turned to a habit i hardly apply it on my forehead but if you don't have dry forehead then you can apply it but remember that it's very dry so make sure you are using adequate moisturizer then sometimes if i have like acne that is really like trying to rear its ugly head okay because i always get those once in a while i have one somewhere in my eyebrow here then i have one on my cheek here even though it's looking dry now and i think i have like two here those ones are hormonal anytime i'm close to my period or around my period time i always get those so anytime i start getting those i apply the retinol the retinol cream directly on those like i just take some like almost like a spot treatment i just take some and apply there apply there apply there apply there at night okay but yeah these two things are going to change your skincare game forever trust me on them okay this tack rejuva they are on instagram it's an Nigerian product funny enough oh. they're on instagram so you can just go and buy from them or you can ask your um, skincare sellers if they have i bought this one from tika4 shop tika4 in lagos um yeah i like buying products from her because i'm sure they are original so most of my products i buy from her or i buy from um what's her name beauty supplies ph okay I, I've, I've you know tagged them once in a while on instagram or so anytime i buy from them so beauty supplies ph i bought you know some products from her and then um, what is the name shop shop tika 4 shop with tika 4 i bought i bought this rejuva from her a while ago like it's itself i think it's almost finished though hey it's almost finished though time to restock if you want to be sure you're getting the original original just go to these two people i mentioned okay i think there are some other people that have original products i don't know them but the ones that me i can vouch for shop tika 4 and pretty supplies ph okay that's it. Any other person, buy at your own risk. <laughs> anyway, that's it for today's video. Let me know if I missed anything. I don't think I missed anything. But if you have any questions for me, please ask them in the, the comment section. I'm going to answer you there. If you have the opportunity, go for facials, okay? Go for facials. Go for skincare treatments. Visit a dermatologist. Visit a, an esthetician. Just go and take care of your skin okay if you can if you can afford it if you can find somebody near you for the retinol and i think for the rejuva as well if you're new to these products please do not just jump in and start using them every day morning and night your skin is going to shout okay your skin is going to be angry especially for because of things like the retinol itself and the niacinamide if you just jump in and start using them every day because they say the, the, the products are good you're going to be um you're going to have adverse adverse effects okay you are most like or you are more likely going to have adverse effects from doing it like that okay so start by doing them maybe twice a week okay you can do them twice a week and then graduate to three times a week and then graduate to every day um yeah for the uh, for the retinol the same thing start from once a week then twice a week then three times a week then every day um just graduate it like that for maybe like over a space of three months just to be sure that you don't react to it okay because niacinamide i feel it, i think at 10 percent which this one contains at 10 percent is actually quite um a lot for some people right their skin starts purging and reacting to it so you have to be careful the way you use it so yeah that's it guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys